it's me gabby welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i haven't done this video in two years which is crazy this was my last video it's been two years and there's like been a couple of changes here is an updated what's my iphone 13 pro max i do still have the 13 pro max she's working pretty fine with me the only problem she has right now is offloading my apps without my permission but other than that she works pretty well and if i do upgrade i don't think it will be like right at this moment you know if i do upgrade you will be having two videos of like what's on my iphone so be prepared for that this is an octobuddy i basically took two octo buddies and i stuck them right together back to back because i didn't like the way that the other octo buddy looked so i bought two instead and then my case is from what our case is i think it's the blue moon latte or blue latte case i don't really know my case and this octo buddy is linked down below just in case you want to buy it okay so to start this video off here is my lock screen i got this like random photo from i'm pretty sure it's pinterest i did not take this picture uh, I didn't yeah I didn't and then I have like as like a widget the charging thing of like my Apple watch it's back there that's why I'm like pointing back there then opening my phone we have the basic Apple apps photos clock weather and then my communications folder like I don't know why I have whatsapp here twice whatsapp is basically like messages um, and they don't charge you if you're like overseas calendar camera the basic Apple apps we have here there's nothing that I honestly downloaded yeah, there's nothing here that I'd like downloaded. And then my camera app. The Ring camera app is my Ring camera app. And then the Lorex is also another camera app. Uh, my bank and then a few games here you can tell which games i play the most which is the pizza ready one and then maps and citizen this is just basically mta since i live in new york you know it's good to know like when my train is coming citizen citizen is basically like citizen is this app that basically tells you what's going around you at all times so if someone like were to get hurt by a weapon let's say said weapon you would know it would literally tell you like person was was hurt by this weapon at so and so like street and it would tell you like how far it is like whether it's like 0.2 miles or like 4.7 miles away or like whatever like it's honestly so good and i really do like this app for like safety reasons and then Waze. everyone knows what Waze is Waze is basically like like apple maps and google maps just a i think it's like a little bit better because it tells you like speed cameras where the police are i don't know if the other ones do that but but i personally just mainly use Waze. and yeah google maps and apple maps again the same thing and then here are the main main four games that i use right now i honestly just downloaded like two of them and i've downloaded the like the bottom four and i've only been playing two of them which is laundry rush and berry factory i haven't played the other one i will eventually but they're basically like ideal games where like you start from nothing and you build yourself up to something and honestly i love those games because they're just like so fun moving on to the next one we have soundcloud which it's like apple music but it has like some like tiktok audios that like they aren't on apple music but they're on soundcloud then we have youtube youtube studio is just somewhere where you can check like your analytics for example i have oh my gosh thank you so much for 351 subscribers but my views here are 1000 you can also see your uh your watch time your watch hours and this is in the last like month sub count is where you can see your subscriber count of your channel and then pocket it's just procreate but like the mobile version which is like an like a an app that you can just draw in i use that to do like a white outline like if i don't have my ipad on me i go on procreate pocket and i just draw like the white outline ponto is basically basically like a text app it's what you do like to put like it's what i use personally to do my thumbnails and i'm sure every other youtube uses ponto too photo grid i use that to do like collages for example let's see one of my thumbnails like this thumbnail right here this thumbnail i use that i took two photos and i put it like that you can also put like multiple photos like but like you can like change the layout and you can also change like the ratio so if you want it to be like for your instagram story then you can be it can be like for your instagram story if you want it for like your youtube your facebook your pinterest anything it like they have ratios for that which is why i like photo grid so much yahoo mail my email can can oh my gosh camera connect is what i use to, like wirelessly bluetoothlessly wi-fi lessly upload like my videos that i take on any of my canon cameras and i want to put them on my phone i just do that really quick CapCut is like an editing software where i literally just edit my tiktoks or my youtube shorts i would recommend honestly and then lightroom that's just like a 
photo editing software. Um, school. I have not been to this folder in so long. It's actually insane. But in my school's folder, we have Gmail, Classroom, Chrome, Jupyter. Jupyter is where I used to see my grades. I don't think I'm on here anymore. Yeah, those are my grades. Aw. Wow, US government killed me. But yeah, Google Doc. Uh, this is just a website of like, if we wanted to go outside for lunch, we have a pass and they have it like digitally. So we had to sign in and the the past literally like updates like if you're late like multiple times then you get your going out to lunch pass privileges removed if you don't do your work and if like you have like a bad grade or a bad like overall like gpa your privileges get removed like there's so much that goes into it honestly i never got mine removed though so stay safe sports you is like it's like a communication messaging software and we specifically use sports you for like sports ball i use it for softball to see like when we had a game when we had practice when we had this and that when we had to go get our uniforms like whatever like, literally like this is how we would communicate with our coach instead of like email it would be through sports you navigate is something from my college that i've been using it's like i can see my schedule i can also see like anything honestly like it's basically like a website but it's not just strictly for my school you can use it for like other colleges i don't know how many other colleges you can try your college i don't even use this app too much i just have it there my friend told me to download it so i did and then coming back out we have another folder which is just my books kindle app kindle is my reading app um story graph i love story graph my friend introduced this one to me and i love her for it it's like a, an app that you can keep track of like your reading habits and like if you have a goal then you can like read to this goal like so far i've only read 12 books out of my goal at being 50 which is insane that's so bad oh my gosh and then like i've been reading these books honestly i don't remember the last time i picked up it starts with us that book is honestly so hard to read and then the honey don't list it's not a hard read i just like haven't like been wanting to read the bible app that is just it's like a daily bible thing they give you like a verse of the day a guided scripture as long as well as a guided prayer and i try to like include this in my morning routine my streak i recently just broke my streak my streak used to be like 12 yeah 14 it used to be 14. I missed yesterday because I fell asleep. I'm so tired. But I've like honestly I've been trying to like incorporate it in my morning routine and like I haven't been doing good. But I started today. I'm not gonna like get away from it. Like it's gonna like I'm gonna it's my routine and I'm gonna stick to it. Journal. I don't even know why this is here. I don't even use it to be honest. It has journaling prompts. Whenever it is that I get into journaling, I will come back to that and I will do that. But for right now, it's just not, it's it's gonna remain untouched. Let's just put it at that. Shopping, my favorite folder. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just have these apps. They're just shopping apps. Like everyone knows these ones. This is where I got my phone case from, this app. Yeah, these are my apps. LTK, I think it's where like you can like put like your stuff and people will like go on it to buy it or just like to see where you got it from. These are my shopping apps. I don't really think I have to explain these ones. And then media. We have YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Netflix, Peacock. Love Island has been so good. Oh my gosh. Pinterest, Hulu, Reddit, uh, Prime Video, Flow, which is my period tracking app, CoStar, which is like uh, an astrology sign thing. Uh, it's like, yeah, you have daily quotes. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is rest. And then it has like your chart, which apparently you're not supposed to post. I did not know that. Audible, Robinhood, which is like an investing app. Uh, Keep Smile, I use this for my led lights you can see them up there shazam which is like it's what you use to like if you really like a song you don't want to ask them you just swipe press it i have it up here in my control center you could just press it right here and then it turns on and it lets you know what song you're listening to google twitch and then swipe wipe swipe wipe is a storage cleaning app you can go by month and swipe you swipe left to delete and swipe right to keep and at the end of like every month and then when you finish just delete it but it is kind of fun to do outlook is like i don't even know like gmail but worse i don't like outlook to be honest i like gmail better and then we have to do's which i honestly recently just made this it has pros and cons which because i'm indecisive guys i'm so indecisive i haven't even used that app but i will learn then we have notion notion i'm genuinely trying to figure out how to use notion it's so complicated but i will learn because i like i want to be one of those people who use notion then we have zillow zillow is what i use to just shop for my like you know my future houses my future my future just for my future you know 
And then we have this little widget. I love this widget. It's just my Kindle app widget. Um, it's like my music one, but it's my Kindle. And then at the very bottom, we have, again, basic Apple apps. We have settings, music, Safari. Why do I have 20 notifications for messages? I don't know why, but yeah. But yeah, guys, that is my phone. I have nothing else. I only have two pages because like, I just feel like I get overwhelmed. I just have to swipe back and forth and that's it. Like, sorry if I'm giving you whiplash like every time I swipe. But yeah, guys, that is basically the end of this video. That is in what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And peace out, Girl Scout. I'll see you later, YouTube.